Hello gang, welcome back to House Flipper 2. Looks like the morning is upon us. What a way to start the episode. We got a lot to crack on with today. And thank you to everyone's comments last time out. Uh, your suggestions have been fantastic and I've implemented some of them. So let's go through those now before we kick into what we've got to do today. Basically, phase one, laundry. Redone, ready to go. I've got a little bit of brickwork I need to fix up behind there to bring that up to spec. Basically, yes, Josh, I managed to take the window sills out. Good suggestion. Well done. I've put a fuse box and a water tank in. And then I've given a few just little accessories to dress the place up and make it look a little bit like it's an actual laundry as well. But I think you get the idea how it works and, and what the go is there. And I think it's a good little space. And to couple it, I've managed to put in this nice big double sliding door right and i think it's just a better addition through here uh vice and uh, on top of that i've put in a nice glass door just here in fact i probably want no you're fine swinging that way right so that's just the space into here and i've actually switched it and had a glass door put on there too Okay, uh, the, the treads, I've done this, we've done the stairs, so we've got this nice black timber with the black railing and the white uh, and black, uh, the white um, uh, balustrading. Yep, that's it. What I want to do is I kind of want to, I want to see what it's like if I can extend this timber out here onto this deck. I don't know running the two different timbers is the way to go. I've got some timber here ready to run in case. Um, and I've got, so I don't have any, I don't need any more of that. I'll have to order some more of that. But basically, that's that there. Over here, I've managed to change this frame spot around. This brick column here that I've put in used to actually sit here. So I demolished that one and put one in here because we had trouble sticking the door frame in because of this um, stairwell. This door frame, however, is literally just going to be a door frame. I don't think we need anything else in it. It's going to be black. I don't think we need a door in it, right? I know we have a door on that side, but that's kind of like a different section. We've got a door there. It's really just meant to be an access way. So that's how we're going to keep it and treat it, okay? So we'll go like that. Oh, actually, don't worry about that. We're not even up to that yet. Don't worry about that side. But basically, that's done. Right, let's order some of these floorboards. Then we'll go upstairs and see what we're doing up there. Uh, I just want to... Oh, that's a door. I want to see what this is like. If it extends out to here. I'm happy to kind of keep the edging because it matches the out, out the front. The trouble is... Oh, I didn't mean to go all the way over there. The trouble is it doesn't... It looks more inter interior than exterior. I want... No, yeah, it's not right. It's definitely not right. Uh, but this one here, what I've done is I've actually changed it. So it used to run, um, it used to run, the lines used to run that way. They now run this way. Uh, and I did that to keep the flow from out there in here. And look, I've built, what used to, I used to do hard landscaping before I was in the Navy. And um, we typically would build decks with the timber boards running long ways like this anyway. That's how we used to do it anyway. All right, so we're going to go with that. I've got to fix up a little patch here. I've got some spare stuff there. Uh, I'll just tone you down to be a one size. Just under there. It goes like that. All right, Brent. So that's downstairs pretty much tickety-boo. I'm much happier with that running um, that way. It was either going to be that floorboard or this one running this way anyway. So it needed to be changed anyway, if, if you're wondering. Right. Let's now head upstairs because i've readdressed the bathroom and then we'll get into why we, i've got these stair scaffolds just here and you can also see i've been doing some panel testing on the wall to see what we uh potentially could run up here and i've still got no idea i'll be honest so first things first see how the door now swings inwards much better all we did was go create go like that and switch the door to left and right so good tip, Amy. Thanks for that. All done and uh, happy with that. The door now swings how I want it to. Right out of the way. Uh, this one also swings out of the way. I have extended this area by one brick. I've put in this basin, which is much smaller. I'll put in a nice mirror. It's got some drawer space as well, which is brilliant. And I've put in this shower just here. I think you'll agree. 
this is a much bigger and open space in here just extending it one block and switching up a couple of appliances in here has definitely uh, made that a lot better okay i could probably also swing the door so it went in that way too couldn't i okay let's try it okay so now you come out that way No, I want you the other way. I did that wrong. Yeah, there we go. Right. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's how you basically change it anyway. Yeah, I think that's okay. And you come into the bathroom and you go, get out. It's my turn. And then you hear, boom, 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 boom. You've been in there for ages. I've been in here for five minutes. <laughs> okay. Right. Now we've got to address something in here. And that's something I want to do right now. And that is lighting. And you saw what we had to do with the lighting up there in that roof. And we're probably going to have the same problem up on this roof. That's what this scaffolding's for. So the idea I've come up with is, and I've given myself a little section just here. We're going to put in some anchor points basically through the roof like this. Right. Like that. Go to the next set. Notice that I safely got off the uh, stairs by jumping onto the next set. Okay. Right. And that's all we're going to do there. I think I have some paneling here that might actually suit. Yeah. I think the black. It, it matches our theme anyway, so it's okay. The next set. Okay, and then we can hang the lights in here, which will be really nice. And it'll help us work in all parts of the day. I can get them. Yep. We're going to put some up here. So I want to, what I want to do is I want to put them in between the beams. So we'll go like one here. So if I'm standing on a beam, let's say we go like there. Now they're going to look a little bit off center. I'm going to go one here it would be better if it was over the beam wouldn't it the beam is kind of like right exactly where i want to put it but it should have its own like like that you know actually that's not half bad they look off center in here but at the same time they're not i wonder if it would have been better in the middle there no nah, no nah, it's fine you, you i mean you barely kind of look up anyway if i just go ahead and sell these so i can have a look can always easily put them back i think they're okay you can let me know what you think down in the comments section as well i was thinking maybe uh, it's fine it's fine it'll be fine let's get them a light switch uh i want this button please i want to go back we want to go lights and we want to go switch i'm just going with these ones the color of the switches is quite bad uh let's say you have oh we've got a switch there actually don't know if i'm completely down with that but okay so they're going to control that i'm also going to have no i'm just going to leave that one there okay so we should be able to walk over and go clickety clack don't come back and our lights come on brilliant i, I we may need more lighting in here it looks like they're not going to do enough but i think we'll see okay let's address wow what is that is that a is that a light switch on the ground that is super weird is that like a foot switch tap the foot switch and off you go so i think what we're going to do in here i'm going to keep some feature walls brick namely we might do some like the external wall we might keep actually brick on this side and then we'll yeah it, it's a really tough space to work with especially because of these stairs and the immovable stairs really throw a spanner into the works i was trying things like maybe make a, a feature stone section on those which could be all right but then i thought i think we should just keep it simple simon in this place um and i think to start with 
the best way to do that is to paint it the same color as downstairs and then we can work on the features the difference is however i'm probably going to keep this th the brick all the way through there as that one sort of feature wall uh and paint this the other thing i want to get to today at some point is i want to get the scaffolding around and maybe we should do that now and paint in the black sections I don't think I've... Oh, I can get up that. Okay. I'm also going to need to get that black paint. Let's go with the dropper color. I'll take that. Oh, it's actually paneling, is it? And I'll stick you there for me. Thanks. Uh, and we will go to... Oh, one square seems like. I think... Does that have to be on the inside as well? No, it's different on the... In it literally is just the outside section. That actually needs to spin... Are they different? They're not different. Try and take it off the snapping of the grid. Ah, off the snapping of the grid helps. Much better. Okay. Yep, that's better. Okay. Sometimes you just got to try. It's trial and error sometimes, you know. Now, I would have thought... Oh, now that is tricky. How do you get your brickwork to do that? Ah, huh. okay. If anybody knows how I get the brickwork to do that, I'm all ears. How do you get your sloped brickwork? Is that like, oh, is that part of the uh, downstairs that I need to get rid of? Uh, we may as well do that. And that one. It's best I do this now, otherwise I s sort of forget and it doesn't come till last minute. I think what I might do is I might paint those sills and I might not worry. I might not even worry about tilting them down on that angle. I might just leave the black. Oh yeah. You know sometimes things just don't work out exactly how you need them to but you've kind of got to just go with it are we going to free for all this no we're not that looks much better i kind of want to just test the waters here i probably should have done black from the start to be honest just paint just seems much easier um yeah we'll go like that go here all these little things you sort of learn and like the beauty about this game is we're learning as we go so it means that the future projects that we will end up doing you know we can look back at this project and go wow we learned so much since that project okay that's pretty much that that's that that's that that's that let's take our stuff off the roof here can i throw it down there no, i can't it's kind of a bugger uh did i need to fix up any brickwork i think i've missed missed a bit of brick somewhere now what did i actually delete out of there i didn't delete anything it's the same thing just there i don't think i want that there to be honest did i end up you bugger! Right, well, we won't worry about that because you won't really see that from there, but I think all in all, pretty damn good. Right, let's get rid of that. Brilliant. That's another job ticked off the list. The window sills around there are done. The window sills around the side here are fine. They're only recessed into one uh, thick brick around here. There's no windows on the back here at the moment. Okay, we need to need to actually brick up that stuff so that's fine we'll do a final sweep as we go oh gosh did not even realize oh i i, I probably did realize but i probably just didn't uh think about it too much the fact that we still had graffiti everywhere and it's up the back wall there too oh hogwash <laughs> no give me the stairs you beggar head uh okay 
Nice big scat. The scaffolding is so much easier to do it that way. It's probably more expensive, but I did do a test uh, off stream and you pretty much get your money back when you sell it. So yeah, you're not really, you're not really wasting any money for the convenience of, um, or if you, if you are, you're not really wasting much for the convenience of um, popping it up and putting it back down. That's much better. Right. Let's get inside and um, sort out the paint. I'm going to paint all those walls. So get yourselves ready. Strap yourselves in for a bit of a time lapse here. Uh, I want that one. We're probably going to need a couple of buckets. I'm going to have to wash my brush out. Oh, look at the paneling stuff I've got everywhere. Uh, I've got two buckets here. Guess we're just going to have to see how we go. Give me the big. Give me the big one. Uh, and then we'll worry about bedrooms and stuff later, shall we? Yeah, we shall him. This shouldn't take too long, I don't think. He says, he says knowing that painting is one of those jobs that is like tedious. But uh, let's see the results at the end of this time lapse. Okay, we are <laughs> we are getting there, but we're still nowhere near there. So let's go ahead and start cleaning up some of the top sections here. I thought I'd bring us back and we can uh, sort of do do some of this stuff together. I'm probably have to buy another bucket of paint too uh, to get this done. Uh, the thing with the top layers, like up there, I'm considering leaving those brick up the top. Mm, I just don't know. I don't know. I, I like this here. This wall here is going to be all back to the back to that original brickwork. Uh, it probably should just get painted high white walls, but I don't mind the actual. Um, I don't mind the actual brick look, to be honest.
let's go downstairs and um, grab some of our spare brick pallets that we've got. We've got one out here, so let's bring that up. Ah, uh, we want that, and I want to get the big one. Hey, there's a there's an old cup on the ground, and I'm gonna get rid of that paneling too. And once again, I'm just gonna get rid of all of that, make it all of the brick. And like I said, we can. F this might this here might be a great feature wall. It might even go nice as a white, and then it offsets the white over there with over here against the brick. So you know what? I'm gonna leave it because we are gonna paint that a different color, and I might paint it white very shortly. But in the meantime, just get all this in. Okay, let's try it with white now. No more paint in the bucket, Ham. Let's get the dropper feature. Yeah, we're running this like color, this off whitey sort of color. So, oh. If you just hit the two key, it brings it back up. Brings your little gun up. So your your tools here are all assigned to your one, two, three, four uh, buttons as well. Just FYI. So if I hit, uh, I don't... I don't know what number that is. I would assume that's like nine, zero. Zero is that. Right, so let's do a little tester here. Switch that back down to single row. It's a very heavy, the next couple of episodes are gonna be probably very heavy um, painting and stuff focused. Just, it's just where we're at in this t in this part of the actual playthrough. Or this part of the, I shouldn't say playthrough. This is where we are in terms of the this part of the flip. Hey, it's flipping good. Sure. Might even pay to make it a bit of a feature, to be honest. Right. Uh, let's go down and check out how that's gone downstairs in terms of what's happened down here. I thought as much. I, whoops, damn it, <laughs> I am, uh, let me fix this off camera, a thing of beauty, I will admit, these stairs have literally been an absolute pest, uh, this side I'm probably less worried about, do I want to keep that brick on this side, brick on one side, if it not, nah, well, try it, see what it's like, it might make your job just a bit easier too. You're damn right there. And that way we can keep our feature running through. The best thing is though, it gets rid of that horrible orange paint, which I absolutely despised. I'll be honest, that paint was just horrible. I might put some more timber trim trimmings on there around the top, but look, I like the contrast between the brick and the white. That should probably be white there see how our freelancing skills are going here I'd say pretty good yeah 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 okay this is how you're greeted when you come in uh concrete there that's gonna this will all change that little ceiling bit we might even put some timber on that uh, up these horrible old stairs, which uh, let's let's claim that these stairs are heritage listed and we can't actually get rid of them. Yeah, okay. The white actually, I'll be honest, the white makes this space a little bit more inviting. I'll be honest, with the timber and the and the black, just sort of gives it that little nice edge. But yeah, the I think much much better. Right, um, flooring wise, what are we gonna do? We're just going to keep it simple and we're going to run the flooring that we had downstairs. So what I actually want to do now is get rid of all of this stuff because uh, you get money back for it anyway. Uh, and that way we can start a fresh... Uh, and we'll worry about bedrooms and bathroom later. Let's just get this living space out here in a living manner. I was going to put in some kind of railing system here. But, I mean, we could just just as easily do something like this right that does make it a little bit easier uh what do you want to do in here well that kind of has to be brick i'll be honest um and that if i put a piece there that's i'm gonna hit my head on it yep 
So I put that wall too close. Okay. Uh, the other thing is, I don't know if we should be making... Because this wall here is brick, I'm... Just, uh, it's a really hard thing to know how to design something at the uh, on the other on the other option is don't worry about it so much because we are flipping this house so new owners can kind of have at it a bit let's um, go to the bigger brush please it's just gonna make our life a heck of a lot easier yeah the new owners can kind of deal with it <laughs> as, as rude as that is it's kind of the way it is um that should be probably be all white too however i think we might go with the timber just to suit a little bit so uh, okay give me the brick let's try it let's see what it's like when we use the brick that there should be white we'll leave this brick right that's much better and then we get this nice little feature here anyway should the outside of this be brick you can let me know in the comment section down below uh or should we leave it all white i don't know i actually don't know the, the thing i will say is i like how this railing kind of gets lost in that brickwork just there also i wonder if it should be one more brick higher to cover that or the other option is, and I haven't even looked at it yet, but I have had, had a thought. We There are some railings in here. Could literally go up there like that. And that's not bad. That's actually going to give that a little bit of like, oh, hey, that's how you get down to the stairs, down that way. Uh, I'm okay with that. That, this wall here, I still don't know what to do. She can let me know what about that wall. That'll be fine. And I wonder if I should just leave that concrete. I don't really want to. We've painted that white in here. Very bright and bright and bubbly in there. But here, I mean, that's all concrete. You would think that if they, if they put a concrete slab floor, it would carry right through to here. So sure. Why don't we just concrete that up too? And then be done with it okay and we can put a little light in here which is gonna airy up airy fairy this up in here a little bit store i mean i could just keep building all day and i'm aware that we're almost at the end of today's episode let's go with we only need a little drop light in here uh and let's get a light switch i've really got to be consistent with my light switches so these are the light switches we're going to use from now on also got my flashlight on still which is kind of blinding i think that's brilliant the front door's probably going to get a change up nice up into here this is a drastically much more improved space let's throw some flooring in before we head off today just to just to give ourselves a bit of a look at what we've got going on up here at our space and then we can work on kitchens and fluffing out that sort of stuff later i'm gonna move my bucket to downstairs where i'm where i'm start i'm starting to store all my uh the stuff downstairs out of the way right let's have a look at some flooring stuff quickly before we head off today sell that take that panel sell that keep that paint in case we're going to do another feature wall the same color however i probably will do separate feature floors i mean separate feature walls feature floors here uh, i like that top runner there and am i happy look the floors are probably we could probably run different styles of floors up here maybe we should run timber in one section and tiles in the other Duplic uh no copy that 
put two of these down let's just get this in anyway and it's gonna it's just gonna like i said before earlier it's gonna give us our pallet let's go sell that cup ham it's gonna give us our our, our basic pallet like i was saying before on what we want to kind of do in here And we can work from there. We can add the tiles in later. We can change the floor itself even. You know, it doesn't have to stay this timber. But for the moment, it's going to give us an idea up here on what the place is actually looking like. And what direction we can take it into. That looks like... That's the old bathroom that we're covering up right there. Fancy that. That's where the old bathroom was. You start when you do these renovations you start to get an idea of like and you change things around you just it's it's amazing how you go oh that's right that's where the old bathroom was i'm gonna leave that floor i like that old timber there i'm gonna leave just a piece of that old flooring there and you know what just in case Because we might be able to change the color into a lighter timber. Is that faded? Yeah. Or like that. And it might end up being just a little bit nicer for us. So I'm going to leave that. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is our episode today. It's a shame I didn't empty one box first. That's okay. We'll put these up in the corner here. Out of the way. Keep that there for later so I can see what that's going to be like. That old washed floorboard, which I might actually prefer. But this is our space. Hooray! Oh, no! And Bob's your uncle. It might be. I don't know who Bob is in your life, but... Oh. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Sam, missing things again. That's what happens when you do, when you do flip and you do renovating. Also, that that beam up there needs to be bricked as well so i'll get that in the off time but see that gray beam just across there we'll probably brick that and that is our episode for today gang let's do a bit of a recap mode now we can check out what we've done today what we've got through i am feeling a little bit better about the fact that we have the pallet upstairs at a more neutral base and we can work off that now getting everything to to one sort of one set of floor one sort of walls going around has just kind of made the space feel a little bit more like okay and now i can work on what i want to do uh, as opposed to before there was just stuff everywhere in a mess so much happier with things how they're going now um you can let me know what you think about things like this door coming up here uh like the doors will probably change from that to something a little bit more like that anyway i've been van ham Thanks for hanging out today and spending some of your precious time with me. I do appreciate it very, very much. Uh, I'm going through a lot of stuff in the background at the moment personally. So um, having you guys come and join me for some of these games is uh, wonderful and it makes me happy. So thank you very much. All right, gang. Stay safe. Stay glued to your screen. I'll see you very soon for plenty more fun and games. Get out of here.